And welcome back to another episode of Nice Tries. In our previous episode, we did tragically lose our first Pokemon. Leabella is no longer with us. As such, I felt that we needed some way to reflect upon our losses. In our previous one, we had sad outro music going as they faded into grayscale. Had a good time with that. For this time, we're going to do something even more personal. I've written a poem here about Leabella. Did I spend way too much time on this? Yes. Okay. Is it going to be cringy? Maybe. But it's fun, and I hope that you enjoy the sonnet I've written. It's not a sonnet. I don't, I don't know anything about poetry. I have no idea what kind of poem this is. I just wrote what, what came to mind, spoken from the heart, uh, what I feel about Leabella and our loss there. For on that dark forsaken day, when Rourke it was we battled, a tragedy we then incurred, which left us lost and rattled. Go Leabella, I cried out, and tensely held my breath. How could I know, in doing so, I'd sent her to her death? Looking back and knowing now, it only twists the knife. Had I but been a bolder man, I could have spared her life. Of all our team, when pushed to shove, t'was Geodude I chose, and knew too late I'd sealed her fate when I saw the word bulldoze. <sighs> tragedy, tragedy, it really is sad, but she will not be missed. Leabella, you did you did well for us. I, th I thought, thought we had a chance. I really did. Uh, we hadn't had proof that there was a ground-type move. I, I knew there had to be. Deep, deep down I knew, and I think my regret, hopefully, there shows in the, the silly, silly words we've written there. Uh, but... Sadly, we do have to move on. We can go back potentially to the cave now and get another encounter. Uh, sorry, not the cave, the, uh, the mine, and get another encounter. So we never got something in there, and we know there's more Geodude. So we could potentially pick up a new Geodude. I uh, might do that real quick because it was a pretty good typing for our team, uh, and it was sad to lose it. Uh, but, you know, now we're going to jump into the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the poem. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too awkward. I had fun with it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you did too. Now let's jump on in. All right, we're going to head down to the mine here and see if we can't get a new encounter to replace Leabella. Not that anyone could ever truly replace Leabella. We're going to spend a little bit of time looking around. I, I've heard that there might be a third thing we can get in here. I don't have confirmation one way for sure, but it feels like we'd be able to get a Machop, you know? Like, doesn't that just seem likely? Also, why are we not finding any Pokemon? That was weird. What's with the encounters in this game? It feels like it either like happens immediately or takes forever. So we're going to take a second here to look. Um, we could grab ourselves another Geodude. It's what, Geodude and Zubat, I think, are the only things in here. Um, we're not going to grind up too much as we are in here. Um, I think we're okay on levels, you know, we're a tiny bit underneath where the gym leader was there, but we had a full party of six, so I'm not too worried about it in that regard. Don't want to over-level too much. If we just end up finding nothing but Geodudes and, uh, Zubats for a little bit here, then we'll go ahead and just accept it and grab ourselves another Geodude. But, you know, if there is something, especially something that's really common that we could end up taking off of our queue for later in the, in the run, that'd be great. We could also try it out here. Looking for something? I don't know if you can... I think you find Pokemon out here, right? Okay, well, that actually didn't take as long as I thought. Uh, it skipped one encounter there that uh, just kind of stopped commenting for. Uh, and then thought we'd give up pretty soon here, but we found an Onyx. Uh, so we will definitely take that. As much as I don't like Onyx in general, um, I rocked him, I heard a bit here. Uh, I would definitely like to take that out of our queue because uh, I'd rather not find an Onyx later if we can find something else more exciting for us. Also, it does perfectly replace the uh, typings we were missing out from having lost Leabella, so that works out pretty well. Uh, that's actually kind of ideal. Okay, Rock Polish will offset the speed drop from the Paralysis here, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I think Onyx can have Sturdy, but I don't know that he'll have Sturdy. Um, I feel like his catch rate's fairly high, though. We don't have anything else other than absorb to use and absorb might very well one shot this thing so we'll switch and we'll go we don't really have anyone that's great to come in here like we can come and bite it it's not gonna do any damage we'll just throw a ball and hope for the best see if that works out for us it's paralyzed it's low level it's an early game pokemon i feel like onyx's catch rate is pretty high so i don't think this is going to work for us um i could go with an absorb and hope that it has sturdy, but I don't, I'm not confident that it does. All right. Every time that I see Shinx come out, I'm expecting it to have Intimidate, and then it doesn't, and I'm just sad every time. 
but that's okay. All right, Onyx make a decent collection, addition, a decent addition to our collection. Um, and I'm not too mad about that. It's something that can come out and take a hit pretty reliably if we ever need it to. Uh, this should do very much. Okay, we can hit it with one more. Ooh, we got the flinch. Let's go. We're still hit by bind. That's fine. This means that we can't switch. Seems unlikely to have, that he'd have a ground type move that we'd need to be afraid of here. But last time I thought that. Okay, that was going pretty fast. I was starting to worry that was that, that was a crit. Um, and now it's in a pretty good catch range. I'm pretty happy with this. Could hit it with a tackle or two if we really needed to. Um, we're doing fine HP wise. Let's go ahead and give this like a Pokeball. So many Pokeballs. It weirds me out every time having this many Pokeballs this early. Good lord, what is Onyx's catch rate? Dodging, nice, nice, nice. Might throw a heal on us here soon. We're going to be heading back to the Poke Center regardless, most likely. Probably going to put John and Nathan in the. What is wrong with Onyx? You're. That, that's going to hurt. We haven't seen the move yet. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay. Fine's going to hurt. That's fine. We live that. Let's use four damage. Yeah, four damage. All right. Uh, well, we probably can't switch given that we're in bind. And I don't want to try to switch and fail if it just consumes the turn. Usually that's not the case. I think they've stopped doing that. Um, they're not actually for sure that they ever did. Um, but I am surprised that he was both Rock Throw and Smackdown at this low of a level. That's kind of crazy to me. All right, sir, please get caught. I don't know why you're being so difficult. You are low on HP, paralyzed, and only level 7. So please, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Nice job. Nice job, Onyx. All right, all right, all right. Got to break out our list. Our list here of fun names. And, you know, oh, we can't get a Steelix, can we? Ah, oh, why is it nothing but trade Pokemon that we're finding? Good lord. That's okay. We never actually found a Machop. That was that was a, a theory-crafted uh, Pokemon. We never actually found it, but we would also be unable to get that, which would be sad. All right, let's see. What do we got for you here? All right, I got, I got a fun one. You're going to be... Paco plus Cody. So Pacody. Pacody. We're gonna call him Pacody. Pacody. Alright, Pacody. You get to you get to join the party here. We're gonna get rid of John Nathan again here for the time being. Um just much easier to switch in an onyx at any given time. Let me just find two onyxes in a row now. No, okay, alright. All right, well, we got something new at least. Not a direct replacement for Leabella in the sense that it is a different Pokemon, but a very similar uh, replacement for Leabella. So, Pakodi joining the squad, and we will be uh, moving on now. I think probably heading back towards Jubilife now, I believe, because we can now use Rock Smash. we got to figure out how you actually use HM moves in this game. It sounds kind of weird. Hello, sir. You shoved me out of the way. Go ahead and heal up here as we do, did use a good bit of moves and some HP. And how are we doing on potions? Want to make sure we don't get too far ahead of ourselves and not buy potions. But Onyx is so hilariously big. Also, I, I thought I had heard that you could have your Pokemon walk behind you in this game. Am I crazy? Is that not a thing? I thought that was a thing. It was like one of the only things I had heard about this game is that your Pokemon walk behind you. All right, we will check out the little museum here. I assume this is where we revive fossils if we can. Hello. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Okay, so we can't revive fossils yet, but we also don't have a fossil yet. I don't know where we get a fossil. That is a huge piece of coal. Good lord. Nothing else in here for us? All right, does not seem so. Shame, shame, shame. But hey, you gotta check it out. All right, uh, what's north of the city? Is there another encounter to be had? There is. There's a new encounter to be had here. Oh, man. Okay, uh, who do we have up front? Gotta do a little bit of inventory. Make sure that our team is safe here. Um, we put Serebin up for a little bit. We'll keep Tomothy up, I suppose, just because that is, uh, the encounters in this air are insane. It's either you find absolutely nothing or something every two steps and, like, nothing in between. All right, finally. What do we got? More Geodudes? You just salt in the wound, huh? Telling me, like, you can find a Geodude everywhere, but not, uh, but we no longer have, uh, Leobella. All right, we are going to go ahead and knock this thing out. We are going to re-encounter. Uh, we don't need another Geodude now. This one's got sturdy. Okay, okay. That's fine. Good to know. Good to know. Tackle. That's fine. Get poisoned. Poison point. Poison him. Oh, let's go, Tomothy. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Tomothy's been putting in some good work for us. And if we ever do get to a Rosary, that's pretty sick. That needs, what, a shiny stone, I believe? 
Um, so it's friendship and then shiny stone. Man, we just cannot get easy evolutions in this, can we? That is rough. Also, we can't get Crobat because no, Crobat's Crobat's friendship. That's right. Crobat's friendship, not not trade. Okay, so we can't get actually through here yet. So we don't have a bike to get up that. He just tells me about the bike, right? He's actually want a battle. Okay. There's a cycle shop in Eternita. Is it Eternia? Eternita, right? Just 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 nothing but you dudes, this game, huh? Just just straight nothing but you dudes. Okay. That's fine. Just gonna run. We don't need to level up here really, and don't wanna waste the time. But I do want to find something other than a Jude. This feels like to be a hidden item here. I thought I found something. It's I found a Pokemon. There's the Machop. I knew you had to be able to get a Machop here somewhere. Again, a Pokemon that level that evolves through trade. So we also can't get that. Good lord. It's just all right. We're gonna stun him. He could have guts, so this could make him do some good damage. But we resist the fighting anyway, so we're probably gonna be okay. And definitely will make it easier to catch. I'm tempted to hit it with an Absorb. We have a lot of levels on it, but Absorb is like no damage. Uh, no, no, don't use Pokemon. Sorry, those be Pokeball. Just gonna throw a Pokeball. See if we can catch this thing nice and easy. We'll weaken it if we need to. Okay. Looking good, looking good. All right, who... Do we take a Machop with us? It's tempting, but I don't know. I gotta give you another nickname. I'm gonna have to keep expanding my pool of nicknames here, especially if we only catch male unit like characters. Then I'm just gonna keep finding them. All right, let's see. All right, so we've we've got one similar to this. We've got Tomothy already. We've got Tomothy. We're gonna add. Hmm. We're going to add Timantha to the team. Combination of Tim, Timothy, or Tim, and Samantha. Timantha. E-H. Timantha. All right. We will put him in a box um, just for now. I think I'm pretty happy with our team at the moment. Um, but that's not, that's not a bad one to have. It just does have a bit of like a becomes useless by kind of time, you know? Uh, we're not super likely to be able to get ourselves in the champ unless we were to bend the rules a bit. And I think just based on the level of difficulty of the game so far, we're going to not want to bend the rules in that regard. Um, but it is crazy just how, like, look at our Pokemon. Like, we have Machop, which evolves from trading. We have Timothy, who evolves through friendship. We have uh, Onyx, which evolves with a specific item through trading. And we have uh, eventually Crobat that evolves uh through friendship as well and timothy also needs a different stone once he's evolved the one time so we are not getting very lucky as far as just ease of evolving our pokemon that's kind of a little bit rude of the game to give you such specific evolution uh abilities don't you don't want to battle me but whoops nice you got the gym badge huh eternity city is a turn at Eterna. it's eterna okay i don't i'm throwing extra letters in there eternity city is the next place with the gym that gives away badges right so yeah, I went to 2000, 2007, Route 207, but you can't get through without a bike. I made my team battle and tuffled them up, so it wasn't a waste. I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, Eternity Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Blah! Who's got time to count? Pew! What a weird guy, that Damien. What a weird dude. Okay. We haven't battled you, have we? Well, let's, let's find out real quick. So we can just click on the rock. Why is Bidoof doing it? Oh, it's just a Bidoof? We're just summoning a random Bidoof. That's so strange. Okay, well, I guess that does mitigate the need for uh, HM holders for us. Uh, we'll put Samleton up here for a little bit, and we'll go ahead and battle these trainers. Uh, I feel like there's a chance that we come through this cave again eventually, and I don't want to like have it be insanely simple to beat them. What do you got, some Zubats? Bidoofs, okay. Well, I have a bad matchup for this, unfortunately. I feel like, didn't Piplup used to learn Peck? I feel like Piplup used to learn Peck. Peck would be really good for us here. Uh, I think we'll be fine here. We might get poisoned. It'd be a shame if we did, but I think we can do shot this thing with Pound, so I'm not super, super worried. Okay, Absorb might make it take a little bit longer. No, you're only getting one HP. You're getting a single HP back from this, so not super worried. All right. Like I said, I mean, we know these trainers are so, so weak. That's why I was, like, a little hesitant to fight them, because, like, they're honestly barely worth the experience, but... If they were ever going to be even slightly worth the experience, it's now. 
Uh, we'll send out Tomothy to deal with the Psyduck, hit it with a couple of absorbs, and call it an A. Easy enough. We got Tomothy, we got Tamantha <laughs> waiting there. Waiting in the box with John Nathan. Cloud Nine. Oh no, all the weather effects are gone. What a shame. There's no weather effects. Okay. Didn't quite one shot it. Surprising, honestly. Thought we might have had it there. One damage? Cool. We're going to be back in full HP after this absorb then. Sweet. Alright, so we'll go ahead and skip the next trainer then. If this is how easy these fights are going to be, we'll just move on. So we. It's the cave to the north, right? Yeah, yeah. So this cave, I think we're done with. I think? I don't know if there was another... Well, we'll explore the cave a tiny little bit. Make sure there wasn't a path that was blocked off a little bit. But I guess losing is something to celebrate, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, don't want to battle you. Was there a route up? There is a route up above. Okay, so we'll go that way first. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually leads us to anywhere new, but maybe there's an item or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I know... I feel like there was that cave to the north. Definitely that we need to go through eventually. But... We should also be pretty uh, close to uh, evolving our Samilton here. Ooh, we go down. Okay, so there's another little chamber, maybe? Okay, more things. Rock Smash. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, don't tell me that you can find, like, cooler Pokemon down here, and I'll be sad that we only found a Zubat or a Geodude the first time. That would be sad. Level 9 do that. Alright, well the levels... Okay, that makes sense because we've gotten to an area that was gated off previously and so it puts the level check a little bit higher. There's a lot down here. Looks like you need a bike for part of that. That little ramp up above you need a bike to go through. Um, you want to battle? You might want to battle me. Battling here could actually be worthwhile. That sells for a decent bit. We'll go ahead and battle here. Or are you just telling me about the rocks? You're just telling me about the rocks. Okay, sure. So a place to come back to once we have a bike in two regards, in the sense that, uh, okay. Okay, please. This is just kind of silly. Like this, <laughs> why gate it off with so many different things? Like, if you made me use Rock Smash to get here. Why are you making me use it eight more times on each little boulder here? All right. I keep hoping that we'll find a shiny Geodude. I just want him to come over and be this big golden rock and then we can get to catch him again and get shiny Leobella. That'd be sweet. All right. Go ahead and grab this. I think that's our last thing to do here. Okay, find Flash. I don't know if Flash actually has any practical uses in this game. Uh, it feels like it doesn't, given that how we found it like that. So we can come back here with a bike, come back here once we can surf. Um, and then, yeah, explore a little bit more. I'm not sure how much more there is to explore there, but hey, if we think about it, once we got those equipments, we'll come back. All right, so we do need to go to the north of Jubilife, please. The collision on things in this game is actually driving me insane. I'm trying to walk like diagonally down to the left there and it's just not happening. All right. Keep it going, keep it going. Should hopefully be able to get another encounter here soon. We should be coming to a new route, I'd imagine. Okay, how much can we dodge here? Decent bit. We never battled him. I walked around last time. I see. Well, I suppose we have to make this little boy's day a little bit miserable now. All right, it's only one Pokemon. Youngster Dallas. Cricketot. Ah, could we? We haven't found a Cricketot. I feel like we should have found one of those by now. We really haven't found one? That's crazy. Maybe they only come out like, at night or in the evening? I guess that makes sense, right? Crickets only come out in like evening time. It seems like we've got like a sunset sort of timing going on right now. I guess we could use Water Gun. There's no reason not to use Water Gun there. That was silly. I know Cricketots no bide a lot. And that's scary. Bide is a scary move at times because it can lead you to some bad circumstances, especially because Bide, if Bide still has the priority where it goes first on the first turn, then you can't play around it the first turn it comes out, which is spooky. You've been winning your, uh, you know, by going first and then suddenly you're going second and hitting into a Bide, which is then going to hit you back really hard. It'd be scary stuff. You do also have to keep in mind that we've already been to Route 207, as it is easy to get to that from a different direction. Got to keep an eye out and make sure that we don't double encounter in 207 long, like, you know, far far down the road. If we do, let me know and I will release anything that we do catch there, but I will try to be diligent and make sure that we don't actually do that. All right. Pretty decent squad. Loads of typings. Um, I guess we could have gotten rid of Sarabin. Um, Sarabin's really not doing too much for us, if I'm being entirely honest, which is sad. But, oh, hello. 
the professor talking with Team G is it Galactic in this one. Ah, a nice, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are merely approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all of your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become, uh, collateral damage. Nice! Let's battle together and teach those losers a lesson. They were literally just threatening to kill her. I think that's what they were getting at. And the, the Professor's like, oh, let's let these ten-year-olds sort it out. Wormpole? Okay, so we can still get a Wormpole in this game, it seems. Chimchar, nice. Chimchar, you better... You, you take care of the Wormpole, alright? That's what it makes sense for you to go for. You go for the Wormpole, I'm gonna go for the Zubat. On the Wormpole? Nice. Good job, Don. Good job. She's going for the right targets. Kind of a weird biome we got here. It's like a specific, like, Team Galactic setting. Where it's like, we even got the logo on the floor. It feels like we're battling in one of their headquarters or something, but it's just we're standing in the middle of the road. Alright. Water gun. I don't expect this to knock it out. It'd be really surprising if it did. Nice. Going for the Chimchar. Oh, what? What? I thought it was going for the Chimchar. Looked like he was. Gave me the, the snake eyes. Which is very ironic considering it's a bat, not a snake, and doesn't have eyes. Alright. Easy enough. Easy enough. Like I said, we're still pretty high level for where we are, especially with the whole team of six. Not too scary. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children? Whoa! This won't do! Time to retreat! This mission's a failure! A lot of money. A lot of money from that. That's pretty sweet. Love to get an amulet coin or something. You leave us no option. We'll retreat. For now. Because Team Galactic is so benevolent to all, we shall leave. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness the power for something. Anyway, nice. Well done. You battled quite capably. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. Nice. Did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means Pokemon must undergo some startling evolutions. So, nice, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. What do you mean tied to evolution somehow? Like, does that count both, like, if a Pokemon evolves and, like, then the Pokemon is also an evolution, then it counts? I don't know. Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! Those guys look awfully scary, but you sure showed them! Whew! That was like a breath of fresh air! Anyway, my name's Beebe, and I work as a system administrator in Hearthstone City, east of here. Now, as a thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere! Also, I'll give you these ball capsules. We got some ball capsules. Now you can use the capsule decoration feature in the capsules menu. That's what we got the stickers for. That makes sense. You can customize your capsule decoration by placing stickers on Pokemon capsules. Put a sticker on your favorite Pokemon ball capsule and it'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers also give an edge in the super contest shows here where I live in Hearthome City. So try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later. Okay, I remember the contests there. Uh, I did actually really enjoy the ball capsules when I was, uh, when I was younger. Uh, so let's take a quick little look, see what stickers we got so far. Uh, let's place a sticker. Oh, we got some fire and some fire D sticker. Ooh, blue flames. Oh, we gotta just, just, how many do we have? Oh, we only have three. Oh, I was like, let's just put like a million blue flames. Okay, how about some, some music notes? There we go. Boom. Gotta give ourselves a nice little pattern going on here. Oh, no, no, no. Please, here. What is this? A, a rock? Oh, good lord. What is happening? What is, please. Please, no, stop. Where did the... What is this UI? This makes no sense to me. Can we do regular fire too? No, we only have weird fire. Interesting. So what, smoke? How many things can you do? This is ridiculous. Let's put a bunch of smoke at the bottom. So we put 20 things in one thing? Oh my god, please. No, we're done. We're done. We're, we're gonna put it on a Pokemon though. We'll put it on Samilton. That's weird. That's super weird. Maybe it works better if you do it like as a touchscreen feature. Maybe that's the problem. Alright, well, let's head up onto the new route here, hopefully. We've already got our encounters all through this area, uh, including the Ravaged Path as well. I feel like we need to go to the right, so we're going to go to the left first. That's just 
the tiny bit of like light I can see coming from that side and a memory trying to serve me here. Yeah, I figured this was a pretty quick little path. Rock tube. Okay, rock tube is pretty good. Um, we can use that on. We should actually take a look at our onyx too. It is very relevant if uh, Pacody has like a sturdy or something. I forget what other what abilities there. Rocket. Okay. I mean, honestly, a special attack up, defense down. Oh my god, that might be the worst possible nature for an onyx. Oh my god, that's awful. That's awful. All right. Oh well. Oh well. What can you do? So we. Pretty direct replacement. I mean, honestly, Onyx is not the most exciting thing for our team, if I'm being honest. But it'll come out and take a hit when we need to take a hit. Its defense is still pretty darn high, uh, even if it is reduced, which is a shame. But what can you do? All right, where are we? About 204. It was about 203, but... Hang on. We're going to go back. I'm pretty sure... I feel like it was about 204 down below us here. It was our 203 to the right. I think this is still Route 204. So I don't think we get a new encounter here. I'm going to double check. Okay, it was still Route 204. So we don't actually get anything new here, which is a shame, especially if we find something cool here. I'll be pretty disappointed, but what can you do? Why do they have a Bidoof being the Rock Smash Pokemon? Oh, why wouldn't it be a Machop? Or anything that like makes more sense for Smashing Rocks. I know Bidoof can learn Rock Smash. Don't get me wrong. That's not the problem. I'm just surprised. It's just weird. All right, Awakening. Uh, we're going to find something really cool in this grass army. I'm going to be so sad that this is still the same route. I'm just going to have wished that I didn't know. I just played ignorant. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. You got a Badoo or do you have a full-on Rosalia? Aroma Lady, okay. You have a Badoo. All right, that's a not unexpected. Makes sense. I guess you could have a Rosalia at really any level if you get it to like you well enough. All right, I saw the music notes. I didn't really notice anything else when that came out. Um, this isn't great, a great matchup for us here, but like, I think we can do it in two pounds. Ah, of course we get poisoned. Of course we do. What a shame. Oh, now it's going to take an extra hit to knock you out as well. All right, come on, Samleton. Come through with a crit right here, buddy. Ever where there was a time to crit. It's right now. It's right now. Poison doesn't do too much. Like, we're high enough level. I'm just not too worried about this, even though it is a bad matchup. Uh, this would be a great time to have had out... Uh, not Cerebin, um, Gwendy. Gwendy would have been good here. All right, all right, all right. Wow, they're really only level seven. The trainer, like, it feels like the trainer's Pokemon are like really, really low level for where we are. It's like you had to have beaten the gym leader to have gotten here, and the gym leader's Pokemon were double these things level. So that's kind of crazy to me. Kinda, just a little bit crazy to me. What you got next? Another grass type I had to guess? Cheruby. Okay, okay. Uh, we will send out Gwendy, and Gwendy will one-shot the Cheruby with a wing attack. Doesn't... No, Cheruby doesn't have an evolution, does it? It just, like, changes... No, 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 it does have an evolution. It, it's the next one that changes form in the day. That's right. Cherim. That's it. They have similar enough names that I got confused. Okay. You know... If we find a Cherubi, I won't be that sad that we can't catch it. I'll be a little bit sad just because it is neat and kind of kind of interesting, but you're not sad that you lost because it smells nice. Okay, I don't know if your Pokemon can faint outside of combat from poison in this game, and I'm not going to mess around with it because who knows. Who do we put out now? I think we'll put out Gwendy for a little bit. In case you haven't noticed, Pacody and Sarabin are my lowest priority, for sure. I'm gonna have double battle coming up here with those twins that we got up there. This guy's probably gonna have bugs. I see a Wurmple. I feel like there's a, an early game bug Pokemon in this gen that I'm forgetting about. Krigaton! Krigaton, Krigatoon. That's the bug. I, there's always an early bug Pokemon. And just for some reason, Krigatot does not exist in my mind. I couldn't tell you why. Why are you still only level 7? You're double your level and I didn't grind at all in the slightest. Man. That's why I'm like... That's why I don't want to put in the trading, like the ability to trade, because it feels like we're already, you know, it's easy enough. And I also think that we're going to say that we, while we will call duplicate claws, we won't let ourselves 
re-encounter if we find an evolution of something that we've caught before, but never evolved into. So like we have Geodude, but we never got a Graveler. If we find a Graveler, I think we're gonna say that is our encounter. Uh, like basically there has to be that Pokeball symbol next to it in order for us to actually re-encounter. Uh, just make the game a little bit more difficult than like if we are encountering a Pokemon that's an evolution of something that we have, then we've like, it's our fault that we don't have the evolution, right? Like we lost the Pokemon, so it's probably gonna be replacing it or we're not using it, which in that case, you know, punishment for not using it, I guess. Got our first evolution here though, finally. Gwendy evolving into a Staravia. Yeah, Staravia, yep. I remember these names, comes through. All right, get a new ability, learn Intimidate. Learn, learn Intimidate, yeah. Switch off a keen eye, get Intimidate. I feel like that might be something that could possibly happen. Yes, let's go, all right, I, the, I remember, I remember. I got, I got some skills. All right, uh, so we'll, we will now immediately switch off of Gwendy. And we'll, you know what, Sarabin, you've not, oh wait, wait, we have double coming up. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, it's actually pretty risky to put Sarabin up then. Um, let's see, if we come across grass types, we would want Gwendy. So we will put Gwendy up front. And if we come across like flying types, so we'll, at that point, what's good against Gwendy? What's good against Gwendy are electric types, Rock type, so we'll we'll rock Gwendy Sambleton here. It should be a pretty strong and safe team for this first double battle here. We're the strongest in our class. We could one shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? If you have a one hit KO move, I I, I might just quit. We'll just stop the recording. Call it. It's done. We, we, we've lost too much. Pachirisu. Considering that Super Fang is your main thing, really, I plan for like what types would be good here, and they sent out. Two freaking electric types that I have nothing good for. So I'm pretty sure Onyx doesn't have any ground type moves. I'm quite, I'm quite sure Onyx doesn't have any ground type moves. Um, if we get like double sparked into Samilton, that could be pretty bad. <laughs> how? How is this the worst possible combination of Pokemon to come out? <laughs> yeah, Gwendy is weak. This is the only weakness we have in common is electric, and they sent out two electric types. What are the odds? What are the odds? Uh, we'll switch there. At least we did get value out of uh, the uh, Intimidate already, so if it has some physical moves, we'll be okay. Uh, Paco D should be pretty safe to come in here. He is on level, um, and I think that switching in to Tomothy, I think, will be all right here because Tomothy can resist at least baby doll eyes. That's fine. It reduces what? Special attack? That's, that doesn't matter, right? Oh, it's attack. Okay, it's it's a priority uh, attack drop move, right? So it's basically growl, but it goes first. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's I mean, it's unfortunate because like now we're not gonna do like any damage, but let's just focus down one. I don't think we can paralyze it, unfortunately. And uh, this is gonna be a really grindy battle. This is gonna take forever. Well, why do you baby doll this and growl? Good lord. All right, well, as if we weren't gonna do little enough damage already, we are now gonna do basically negative damage. Good lord. Okay, well, unless Pakoti uh, manages to crit, we're doing nothing. Let's back down. Crit, crit, crit. This is painful, this is painful. We'll go for a bind, just cause then at least it will do some tick damage over time. We could rattle off a couple of growths here guess it'll likely save us a couple of moves, so we'll do it. It should save us actually a lot. Poison point? Oh, poison point would be huge. Please, 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 please. Let's go, Tomothy. All right, I'm 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 starting to like Tomothy a little bit here. Tomothy's been pretty good at these poison points. Growth <laughs> looks, looks hilarious, just stretches the model. All right. Ooh, found yourself in a bit of a bind there, did ya? I'm hoping that the bind damage is a flat amount and it's not affected by the fact that we've been growled. I think it's just like a 16th of their HP flat or something. That looks like a flat amount. All right, um, we're now just gonna bind. Can I bind two things at once? I don't feel like that makes sense, but we'll see. Cause like you'd have to release one to bind the other, wouldn't you think? But we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll work. I would like the other Pachirisu to also get poisoned, but nice. That's actually a decent amount of damage now. Heal up a good bit. Love it, love it, love it. Tomothy is putting in some fine work races, honestly. All right, so do both of them get hit by Bind? I feel like they will, but I feel like it doesn't make any sense. 
That was just gonna be slowly ticking down. Man, what a terrible set of Pokemon for our. Oh, yeah, they did both get hit by mine for uh, our opponents to send out. That's that's so unlucky. It seems like they might only know Quick Attack, honestly. But um, yeah, like, why would we ever use Rock Throw? It's just worse. It's just a strictly worse ability or move. Weird. Yeah, it's gonna do no damage. Yeah, I mean, they, they, there is no risk to us here, really. It's just a matter of how long does it take to knock these things out. Tomothy back up to full HP. They are just absolutely no threat to us. They're just good at resisting us. And using Growl and Baby to lies. Uh, Pacote's working out like an eighth of his regular attack right now, basically. It's, uh, it's not great. All right, level 10 for Pacote. I would love for you to learn a ground type move. That'd be really nice. Oh my god, I just made this. By, by doing all these tick damage effects, I just made this battle take so, so long. All right, this crit. Crit right here, both of you. Both of you crit, and easy. Actually, if Pacote crits, we might, we might not need Tomothy to crit, but I think Tomothy will attack first, so yeah. All right, now crit, Pacote, crit. Chance that even if he doesn't, that the battle ends on this turn anyway, but it'd be really nice if you were crit here, Pacote. It'd be really nice. I think we get it, the bind tech damage. Oh, just the poison, really? I'm surprised at that. It's not toxic poisons. I didn't think it'd be that much. All right. Lots of people leveling up. Samilton should evolve here pretty soon. I think Samilton evolves at 16. Uh, if it's not 16 at the very latest, it's 18, but I'm pretty sure it's 16. There's Peck. I knew we learned Peck. There we go. Now we got some coverage. That is lovely. Uh, Charm is basically just better growl, so we will get rid of growl and keep charm. All right. Nice. I, I knew we learned Peck. I was like, we're a bird, kind of. We're, we're flying. I mean, we're not flying, um, but we, we got wings. We got a beak. It makes sense. Oh, but wait. Nope. Kick your butts. Give me your money, children. All right. We are out of time for our episode here, but we're going to get out of this route at the very least. Bullet seed. Okay. That. Just get one of them. Oh, it's a Always a tough choice when you only have one of any given TM. Stealth Rock, Flash, Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb's good, but we don't need it right now. We could teach this to Tomothy. Um, we'll wait a little bit. I feel like Tomothy's pretty likely to learn a new move just kind of on his own here soon. Please let me out of here. Please. please. All right, there we go. On to Floroma Town, where we'll heal up and wrap up the episode there. All right. We'll take a quick look at our team real quick, though. See how we look. Got some pretty good typings here. We got normal flying, water, electric, rock ground, poison, grass, and again, flying poison as both duplicates in the form of Cerebin, which isn't the greatest, but you know, hey, it means we got some room for our team to grow still. That's gonna do it for this episode though. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. But hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna keep up with the channel, we'll see when new episodes come out. Gonna try to be releasing here pretty regularly. Had some holiday stuff going on, so a little behind and spent far too long composing our poem. That's the real reason that we're actually late on the schedule. It's not. I'm just kidding. But hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll hopefully see you for the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, check out these similar videos floating all around your screen.